Hello, this is Karen Rhodes with HP Networking. This video is going to show a step-by-step -step on how to upgrade Comware on HP switches. Okay, so a little bit about the setup here. Basically, I've got a laptop configured as a TFTP server. The IP on that laptop is 10.10.10.252. It's connected to port 1 on the switch. I have an old uh, image, which is the uh, 2PO6 uh, version, and I'm going to go to the 08 PO1 version um, of the image. So let's continue. Okay, so what we're going to do at this point is on the left hand side, the first set of configs are going to basically get us connectivity to the TFTP server to the, uh, and we're going to set this which is 10.10.10.1 slash 24. We're going to save the config and then we're going to delete the existing flash file because this particular switch is a 5120 and it just doesn't have enough uh, image space for both of the images that I want to have on there. So I'm going to delete it and there is a slash unreserved, which I've highlighted in red here, uh, command that you put in after delete. The reason that I did unreserved is that if you just do delete and then the flash uh, and file name, it will put the flash image into basically a recycle bin type of an area and it won't give you back that space. So you have to do the delete space forward slash unreserved and then the uh, flash and the image name in order to absolutely wipe that off of the uh, the switch. So this is not needed for all switches, it's just that I'm using a lower end switch, a 5120 EI, and it just doesn't have enough flash space for both of those images. After we do that, um, the delete takes a little bit of time, so I've cut out some, some time there, and then uh, we move over to the right hand side, and we'll TFTP on the image that will be the flash image, and then we also have a boot ROM image, since I'm coming from such an old version to such a new version, I do want to go ahead and, and update my boot ROM as well, and I just wanted to show everybody how to go through that process. A lot of the times you're not going to have to update your boot ROM, it's going to be the same for multiple flash images, but just in case you guys wanted to see it, I'm going to do it here in this video for you. Okay, so let's get started. First thing is system view, basically takes us into the next context, and we're going to go ahead and show you what the bootloader is right now. Uh, right now I'm running the O2 PO6. As you see there, I'm just going to go ahead and abbreviate that as O2 from now on, or 02 from now on. And you see that I've got that as the current booting image, and it is the main image, but I don't have a backup image uh, set on this particular switch today. Um, let's go ahead and go into interface 1, we're giving it an IP address, 10.10.10.1 slash 24. interface comes up. I'm going to go ahead and save it just in case anybody wanted to see how to save a config. And always make sure that you have connectivity after you uh, after you create an IP address and before you do a TFTP you want to make sure that you can get to it so we'll do a ping here in just a minute. And we can get to the TFTP server with ping. Okay, lovely. Next thing, I want to go ahead and quit back out of the interface context, and then I want to quit again back to the previous context, just to show you what image I've got. So I've got the 02 image right now, and here is that unreserved command that I told you about before, and then we go ahead and put in the flash image. So delete for space forward slash unreserved flash, and then the flash name. Obviously, cut and paste is your... Uh, your friend whenever it comes to these image names will ask you to confirm it and then it's going to go ahead and go through the delete. Delete takes a little bit of time so we'll cut that time out. Okay, through the magic of editing the file is deleted and you can see that it is no longer in the directory for flash. At the top you see the old uh, 0202 image, the bottom we see that we only have the startup.config, but our space is freed up because we use the unreserved command. So that's great. Next thing we're going to do is TFTP, space IP address, and we're going to get the new image off of the TFTP server. So rather than make you sit here and wait on this, we'll cut this out as well. Okay, so the TFTP of the flash image is on the switch now, and next thing we're going to do is show that it's there, so it's the 08 rather than the 02. So before we just had the startup.cfg, now we have the 08 uh, version of the flash, and next I want to download my boot ROM. 
So TFTP, the IP address of the TFTP server, git and my boot ROM. Once again, we'll cut out the waiting here for you. Okay, so just to repeat the commands that we just did, we gave an IP address to a VLAN, we deleted the existing flash, we TFTP'd a new flash onto the system, and we TFTP'd a new boot ROM onto the system so far. So the next thing we're going to do is actually make this new flash the main and the backup flash for this particular switch since it only has room for one of the flash images that, that I particularly need for this switch. Then we are going to uh, go ahead and activate that boot ROM that we downloaded. Uh, we'll save, we'll reboot, and then we will display the bootloader so you see that we have done the upgrade. Okay, so that wait is done and we now see that in our flash we have not only the 08 but we also have our boot ROM, our BTM file in there. So fantastic, they were both at TFTP over properly. Now we want to do a bootloader and tell it what file is the new flash image. So paste is your friend here. Obviously typos are, are pretty bad if you're going to put in the wrong flash. Uh, and then right here we have this slot and we have an option of integer or all. Um, this is a standalone switch so my integer options are basically one which would be the only switch here but if I had an IRF grouping of say eight switches together I could say slot all main and it would set this flash as the main flash image for all eight of those switches in the IRF group. Pretty handy if you wanted to do all of the upgrades all at once and just do a massive reboot and be done with it. You don't have to do that if you want to uh, because obviously it would reboot all of those eight switches. Um, as you see here, my current boot is the O2 image, my main boot is the O8 image. If I wanted to set my backup image, I would just take the main off of the end of the command here and change that to backup and it will activate that same flash image as my backup. Obviously using the same backage image as your backup and your main is, is not all that logical. Most people have two different images here, but as I said before, my uh, flash is a little bit limited on my feature set that I want versus the flash image that I have. So pretty simple there. Uh, now we want to update that boot ROM because my boot ROM is very old that I have on this switch right now. So boot ROM update, file flash, and then flat, uh, paste in the boot ROM image, which is that BTM file. Make sure not to get those backwards. So just remember .bin is your flash image and boot ROM is BTM. Goes ahead and asks you, do you really want to have this as your boot ROM? Yes, and I'm a habitual saver, so obviously I'm gonna save again at this point. And then we'll need to go ahead and reboot. And what we will see whenever we reboot is that instead of having the current boot as 02, we'll have the current boot as 08. So let's go ahead and cut out the reboot time here. Okay, so boot is completed. We see that if we scroll up, it went through the reboot. We got a little splash screen, decompress image, Pac-Man dots, okay and we're hopping on back onto the console, do a directory. We see that we've got the 08 flash. We still have the boot ROM in our flash uh, directory. And if we do a display of our bootloader, we will see that 08 is our current main and backup now. Okay, just to review, our bootloader's been updated in the main and in the backup uh, with the new image that we popped onto that switch. We also upgraded our boot ROM on that particular switch, saved, rebooted, and then displayed the bootloader to show that it is now booting off of the 08 code. Well, thank you very much for watching this video today. I hope you found it useful. Check back on the YouTube HP switching channel if you're looking for more information on HP switching and how to configure network devices.